Have you ever looked at these guys and thought to yourself, how can I inflict pain on them at a much faster rate? Well, you're in luck, because I removed invincibility frames from Minecraft. Invincibility frames is when we attack an enemy and they flash us red for half a second. During that period, you cannot attack them or do damage to them. I don't like that, so I removed that. And now, we can beat them at a rate of 20 times per second instead of 2. So, let's see what we can do with these. But there are a few things that actually kills you without invisibility frames at a much faster rate. And those are mostly the blocks that deals contact damage. For example, campfire and lava. Lava deals quite a lot of damage per per tick and also to sweet berries. Only when you're moving inside it for some reason, I don't know. And there's also the, the cactus. Now this this is actually pretty surprising. You see these mobs actually these mobs actually don't have attack cooldown. Like when so when zombie attack attacks you, they, they, they have to like attack you and they stop attacking for a brief moment. Except for this one. This one actually deals damage to you repeatedly. So they're super deadly in this scenario. And there's also fire, of course. And lastly is suffocation. I might have missed something out, but but I think that's about it. Well, now let's get into beating something up. I kind of want to fight with the golem because, like, it deals like it doesn't deal to. Are you kidding me? Fine, I'm summoning a new one. Well, okay, so like they deal quite a lot of damage, but we also do because auto clicker. I keep on hit my mouse with it on the clicker, so now I think I can deal damage. I like. Okay. I like the crit particle. Like when I crit it and I when I deal crit a critical hit and it deals like a ton of critical hits on it and the part and the crit particle just flies out and I'm getting destroyed okay okay I'm still I'm still getting destroyed look this guy has wish okay. thank you thank you okay I guess I guess that was a fine fight I'm thinking of maybe giving myself a boat. And then fighting with a golem because like it seems that the iron it seems that if I fall right here I'm gonna deal critical hit all the time. Is that Nope. But I don't take fall damage though. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm still getting destroyed. Okay, let's just kill this guy and move on. Why? Okay. Let's see how long it take, takes me to kill the wither. Let's see. Oh. What is score? The boss bar it didn't even get updated. What? Wait. Yeah, the boss bar doesn't even get updated. Wait, what? Maybe it's probably because I used it slash summon. Well. That was a short one. Well, let's move on to the next bit. Oh, 
All right, so you've seen those videos where people just tame a lot of dogs. Where they tame a lot of dogs and you say, oh, okay, and use them to to kill everything in sight. But you see, the problem is that when you do it normally, no matter how many docks you have, I don't think the server is, I don't think the server is handling this thing very well. Okay. As you can see, normally it wouldn't, it takes quite a bit of time to kill that, to kill that thing. I mean, I guess a ravager would be a much better way to show it. Can, okay, there we go. Now, if... When you hit it, it takes quite a bit of time to kill that, to kill the Ravager. Oh damn, this model looks ugly. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of time and a few deaths, oh, I'm sorry, a few deaths to kill, to kill the Ravager, but now, if I turn it on, place down a Ravager, kill it. As you can see, it killed it very much more efficiently. So now you can be truly, truly untouchable. Let's see how far the server can go. Let's see. Oh, don't teleport up here. It's, well, in there is also pretty dangerous, but... Oh boy. <coughs> Also, this command block is pretty cool. It, it summons the summons a bunch of dogs that is already that is already tamed by me. So, so it's it's pretty time efficient. Let's see what can we do to make it a little bit more fair fair of a fight. Another iron golem. Let's go beat him up. Okay, that was pretty satisfying. Why is this guy? Yeah. Okay, what else can we do? More ravagers. Oh, never mind. Okay. 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 It seems that I almost accidentally exited. Minecraft. Okay. Let's try. Whoa! No, 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 no. I forgot to put no AI on it. No. Okay. Thankfully, all my duck is alive and well. Yeah, all, all of them is alive and well. Alright, now kill this guy. Uh, now kill that guy for me one more time and I'm gonna leave you alone. <laughs> Wait, how far can the... How far can the knockback go? Just like... Okay, I'm gonna give all of them speed and I'm gonna... Speed... And now... Get that guy. Oh right, that guy is resistant to to knockback. Oh well. Well, I guess we're we're moving on to the next part. Uh, oh well. All right, now the next part is actually not completely related to no invincibility frames but it's much easier to do okay so as you can see this is just a normal horse now the thing is if you punch it it doesn't take any knockback because this is a no ai horse now what happens if i ride it as you can see it takes the knockback so what this means is that 
we can actually stack knockback. So what this what this does is basically it's delaying the knockback until it until it get, is ridden on and then it ta starts ta to take knockback. For instance, we we okay is this this actually might make it take a little bit of fall damage. Okay. Now you see this this can go insane extremely fast, especially because we have this. Now let's see how fast can this go. Really? 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 Is that? Yeah. Okay, my that that was Okay. Okay then. So I've built a little something here. Ow. 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 So basically this command box constantly refills my snowball. So So as we all know, the blazes takes damage from snowballs. Three three damage each. So that means we're gonna have to throw seven snowballs. Which isn't really the most efficient way of killing blazes. Except now you can throw 20 at once, and now they're gonna take all of the damage. Uh. Ow, ow. This is actually very entertaining. The command block there constantly reloads my shots. Oh, this. It walked under the kill button. Ah well. Ah well. After the. After a few. Oh. Oh, 455 times. Oh well. After a few blazes killed, I, I, I think it's time. It's a good time to end the video. So that. I spent like. How long was that? Quite some time. But, anyways. Thank you for watching and and as always the link to download the plugin is in the description. Have fun!